Campground toilets are about the most disgusting place on earth. They're dark, they're dirty, and they smell terrible. Not to mention the fact that as soon as you walk up to one, everyone on the campground knows exactly what you're about to do. What if I told you there is a way to avoid all of this disgustingness by bringing your own affordable, portable toilet and shower system? The pop-up bathroom that I use is the pop-up shelter by Wolfwise. This is a pretty generously spaced pop-up tent offering a 47.2 inch square bottom and a 74.8 inch peak height, meaning that this pop-up tent will accommodate taller campers. The portable toilet that I use is the Lugabaloo by Reliance. It is a plastic toilet seat that clips to a standard five gallon bucket. If you already have a five gallon bucket at home, you can go ahead and purchase just this toilet seat, turning any five gallon bucket into a portable toilet. Now I use just a regular kitchen garbage bag on the inside of the Luggable Lou to collect the waste. I fill this bag with up to a gallon of water. You don't need any more than that. I usually use about a half to three quarters of a gallon. And then I add one of these Bio Blue packets in it. This is a toilet chemical. It's the same kind of toilet chemical that you're gonna find in either a boat toilet or an RV toilet. And what it does is that it helps the waste to start to break down and it significantly reduces the foul odor that's gonna come from the waste receptacle. Don't go anywhere without the bio blue. I use this little caddy up here to keep some hand sanitizer, wet wipes, and to store my toilet paper. When it's time to switch over to shower mode, I take the toilet out and I bring in this five gallon heavy duty craftsman bucket that I fill with water. The reason I like this bucket is because it's got a really sturdy handle and it has clips that keep the lid on. I can either carry this over to the water spout and fill it with water or I could fill it with water and carry it in the back of my vehicle knowing that this lid is not going to pop off. The shower unit that I use is the Ivation Portable Shower. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can pick this thing up. I have had this same portable shower unit going on five years now. It has performed amazingly for me. It still holds a great charge and it's really, really affordable. So how this thing works is that it has this suction unit that is submersed into the water, which sprays it out of this power head. And there is also a clip where you can hook this up, just like a regular handheld shower head mount in a shower at home. So when it comes time to shower, flick open the lid and remove the top. Now, if you want, you could preheat your water unless it's a warm day and you like to have a nice, cool, refreshing shower. But to do that, I usually will take two or three big coffee pots full. I'll put them on the burner for a few minutes to warm them up and then dump them back in here. And that makes the water a really, really nice temperature pretty quickly. This Ivation shower submerses right into the bucket and then turns on just like so. I choose to use this more as a handheld versus using the clip up in the corner. And usually when I'm soaping up, I will leave this unit running and I'll just take the shower head and put it back into the bucket so it's not wasting any water while I'm washing my hair and washing my body and getting soaked up so that the water's feeding through it on a continuous loop. But if you prefer, you can always reach down and click it off between washing up and rinsing down. What I do when it's shower time is that I take the toilet paper and the hand sanitizer and the wipes out of this caddy and replace them with a loofah and some wilderness wash. Now this is really important. This is a biodegradable soap. So you're going to want to check 
at your local park to find out what their policies are on the management of grey water. Generally using a camp soap that is biodegradable is permitted so long that you're at least 200 feet away from any streams or water sources. The Wolfwise Privacy Shelter also has this braided clothesline which is really handy for keeping your towel. When it's time to change back over to toilet mode, just take your shower supplies out and then if there's any water that's left on the floor, you can actually detach it, lift it, and completely drain it so that way it's dry when you stick the toilet back on the inside. But whatever you do, don't forget the toilet paper. In fact, there's a number of things that you can make mistakes about when you first start camping. And if you want to protect yourself against those, I want you to click right over here and watch that video.